We are checking out right now the Firehaven Mythicals. And we're also going to be looking at something else which I've encountered as well. I am so excited. I've heard a little bit behind this monster. I did try and cover my ears up, but I heard a little bit in the trailer. I'm still really curious, though. I don't know exactly what it does. I've tried throughout the months that we've known this monster's sound because we knew it for a few months. This thing was voted on by the community, the features behind it, like it would be a part of the family. We know it's a part of the Humbug and Fung Prey family. A mutation, almost, of the two. It's really exciting. Let's see it then. Buzzinga! Where are you? There's usually the monsters that you don't have on an island at the front. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's got a little kick. It's adorable. Buzzinga. All mythicals have something in common. Their very existence has been questioned and doubted throughout Monster World history. The Buzzinga is one such example who's constant flitting about the various dimensions of the multiverse makes it feel like little more than me. You know, we learned about the coolest lore inside of this trailer, so hands down, this is my favorite monster in the lore already, and I am really excited to keep on reading, man. However, it has a pretty good excuse. This monster acts as a pollen for the flowers of the Stablo Majorica, the world tree of mising monsters. Tapping into its family's ability to open supersonic interdimensional highways. Yes, because we have epic humbug who travels between the dimensions as well. I did not see that connection come in. That's awesome. It collects the tree's nectar and contributes to the formation of whole new realities like the dreamscape. That's awesome, man. When it's interested in settling down for a while, the Buzinga finds respite in the scorching heat of the remains of the living car. Where the universe had its beginning in all those eons ago. That is so befitting that it acts as a pollinator. And potentially also, I'm thinking, could allude towards the world tree's location then. Now, I don't know the breeding combo behind this thing, and I really want to see it, so I've got to click that by button. <laughs> okay. I bought Epic Jamboree. There's no stopping me now. I'm on too much of a good streak now. Here we go. That's a go! Bazinga! That instrument sounds amazing. Right, Reedlin, I'm going to help him puff you out of the way so we can place our wonderful Buzzinga down. Whoa, free by free. Not seen a monster like that for a very long time. <laughs> I love Bazinga's little kick. It's adorable. All right, we've approached the end of the song. Whoa, you are big. This is a huge bug monster. Wow, we like the disco balls. <laughs> Just casually saying hi with the disco balls. We love that. Let's do the Bazinga kick. only imagine what this is going to be like on Mythical Island now. That is the most awesome sound. The last of the Mythicals, guys. This is huge, honestly. We don't know what new monsters are going to be next, like completely new monsters. Hang on. The Wubox sounds so much louder for some reason. I'm not sure why. Is that all your play, Buzzinga? That is adorable. Perfect. You are absolutely perfect, Buzzinga. Buzzinga. I love that so much. Putting it on Mythical, that's going to be a whole other experience. Oh, God. You know, Mythical could seriously become my favorite island today. I've already been questioning it because I've been listening to it a lot, lot, lot. But now I think this might have took the cake for it for me now. If that sound sounds as good as that, what you can hear right now, I don't know, man. Spirit of creation. Let's take a look at this before. Ooh, interesting law maybe here. When colossals are engaged in an act of creativity, they often describe the experience among themselves as being guided by a spirit of creation. A what? Oh, well, I wasn't expecting so much law here, but okay. Depicted in ancient artworks as a kindly old being attuned to the power of nature, the spirit would whisper ideas and inspiration to its creator companion. <laughs> and otherwise provide a backing track of 
of gentle humming to which one could work. Why in the world are we confirming a spirit of it? Is that inside of this island? This decoration, rather? That's awesome! It was actually this piece of imagery that inspired the Colossals to imagine themselves as the guardians of the various islands of the monster world, long before the cataclysm that ended the Dawn of Fire brought it about as reality. What? This thing inspired them to take on that before the cataclysm even happened. A bit sus here, mister. I'm looking at those eyes and that mouth and I'm getting a bit sus with this right now. You know, we've never seen the bottom part of an island before and that's just awesome. Oh, and behind the scenes, this special edition decoration is based on one of the earliest pieces of concept art for my singing monsters back when its code name was Songster Island. Yes. Monster handlers would like to extend a heartfelt art. Oh, heartfelt thank you. That's wonderful. I love that decoration. This is absolutely going on at my islands now. I need a spirit of creation every Everywhere. And then I can be among the colossal spirits themselves, right? Wow, three by three, that's huge. Wow, look at that. That is so cool seeing an island look animated like that. Even though it's not in full, you get the general idea. <gasps> and the body segment at the bottom, hey, hello. And the beard. You know, I didn't really notice those features, but it's actually supposed to be a body underneath. Is that confirming that the colossals have bodies underneath them? Just saying, that's pretty cool. I've also seen that concept art. It's not publicly available, but Diane showed it me. Right now then though, let's teleport buzzing on some mythical island. Oh, I am so excited. I'm so sorry, Gold Epic Box, but I think I'm more excited for this. <laughs> What is the world coming to right now? I don't have a clue. It's just how I feel. I've got to put it out there. Oh, buzzing. Oh, I'm going to cover up my eyes so I don't see it. I don't want to see the dream mythical. It's very rare that I get the chance to actually discover monsters just by breeding them before seeing the designs. And I think I want to do that. Where are you going to go? If you go in my favorite verse, you've won my heart. This dream mythical has to go in this bit. If it doesn't go with Crunchy, it's going to sound so weird. Oh, it just makes me want to do the boogie. I love you so much. You are the big decider. Is Mythical gonna be my new favorite island? That new sound is amazing! Why in the world? <gasps> you play my favorite verse too! Hands down, that has made me feel so much better. I even got a bit teary there. That was really good. <gasps> Wait, I think I saw something there. What was that? Oh! Stop that, Mythical is the best island now. I don't need any more confirmation. If this dream Mythical does more. <laughs> oh, we've ready first try at Knerve. Well, let's see what this thing is like, shall we? What was that sound? You are the most awesome dream mythical yet. The limbs, it's so cool. Might even be better than Weasel. This guy's nerve. <gasps> I'm giving myself a bit of time to chill out here because <laughs> this was a lot. I love all of the tracks that you have. You know, I think I do need a bit of calming down time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and read Knerve's bio to kind of chill out a little bit here. It just makes me feel so good. Right, let's have a look though. Calm ourselves down a bit. Knerve, over the course of its multiversal sojourns, I'm not sure what that means. The Fire Haven Mythical has taken the opportunity to observe and partake of various cultures and civilizations. It's particularly interested in folklore, but there's one legend that has gripped its imagination from the first moment it heard it. That of the Knerve. 
Oh, so this is more about the story behind how Bazinga thought about this nerd monster. That's interesting. Folk tale. Known by another name in its native dimension, tales relate that this bogey mon of sorts extends its elongated optic nerves to spy on others without their knowledge. Interesting. A bit like a nightmare then almost this. Oh, and that's why it's covering up its eyes maybe. On Mythical Island, it has been reimagined using Dreamcraft as an enthusiastic musical performer using its optic nerves Nerves, not for spying, but for creating captivating melodies reminiscent of its mythical creator. Oh, one that sounds a bit like Bazinga. How is he going to fit in this crunchy bit now? I'm starting to think that that verse is not going to get anything. All right, we're going to go on to Magical Sanctum, and then we'll go on back over to Mythical Island, because I need it to play from the beginning. Yeah, something has definitely happened with this 4.0 update, where everything is taking longer to load. I hope they fix that, because we have a lot of islands, man, and this is a long time we're sat here now. Yeah, this definitely needs fixing. Anyway, let's play shoot down. Knurf, look at it, it's so cute. I'm gonna move you up a little bit because Nyeh just wants to get in your way. Look at your horns, you are adorable. No way, they have left that verse. Oh! So strange, yo, that's cool. Using eyeballs as an instrument, that's crazy. No wonder it's covering its eyes up. It's like, don't go near me. <laughs> my instrument is deadly. Wow, Mythical is my new favorite island now. Bone Island, I am so sorry, but Mythical is won my heart. Buzzinger is something else though, wow. That is the most fitting end to an island I have ever seen. Buzzing over here delivering, and then an addition as well to the final verse. With a really cool, weird animation. Oh, it plays at the end too. <gasps> Guys, I am overwhelmed. That was spectacular, okay? There is nothing else to say about it. Mythical Island is something else, and if the next island can be as good as Mythical Island, then we are down. My Singing Monsters is going places, man. But now that I'm gonna see you later, make sure to watch this if you enjoyed this, because this is also another awesome video. So check out this, this, this. <laughs> Bye, guys!